Welcome to the Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. We got some IA, AI, AI to talk about again. All right. I love you it. You know how I feel about I, I don't, honestly. I don't know where you stand on it. You don't? I mean, I've been talking about it for years. Where do you stand on it? I don't like it. You do not like it. Why not? Um, It's weird and creepy. Okay. You don't like it. It's weird and creepy. What's weird and creepy about it for you? Are you afraid that's going to start taking jobs from people? Do you think that it's going to start? Do you think it's going to take over in a singularity? Where do you think it's going to? Or do you think it's going to be used to take advantage of people? There's the evil side of it is mm-hmm. what's weird and creepy. Like okay. exactly what I'm about to talk about is what I think is weird and creepy about it. Okay. So there is there is a new. It, I think it's Microsoft has done it. Vasa one. Whoa, that's a new one for me. <laughs> it takes a single portrait photo uh-huh, uh-huh. and speech audio and produces a hyper-realistic talking face video oh, with precise yeah. lip audio sync. I Lifelike facial this. behavior and naturalistic head movements generated in real time. The blonde lady, did you see that? Yeah, yeah. that's the video, yeah. I think that's Google, but I'm not it's 100% right, sure. It's Microsoft. I okay, mean, it, it might way, be Microsoft, yeah, either way. Regardless, yeah. Um, yeah, I did see that, and it is uncanny. Um, I, I, if you if you had told me it was that, I, I might even been able to find the footage for it. But uh, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, to be able to take like a still image and turn it into like a essentially like a video of a person now they won't be as all is as perfect as the uh the instance they show with the the blonde lady but still it's it's in its fledgling form so yeah uh, yeah give it 10 years exactly yeah dude it's it's just the fact that like and the funny thing i think about it is people just love to just like keep adding like pictures of themselves to the internet like it's just like it's just like building a database so people can then turn around and screw you to then like not that like it's gonna happen i'm not trying to conspiracy theorize it but like look i guess the real question about it is is what does this service provide to anybody because right. a, what the only thing you can think of is I can pretend to be somebody else. Right. I can try to fool someone. That is the only use it has. Unless they're like, I want to take, you know, like, like Bruce Willis, for example. I want to take a famous actor who can no longer act because he has like a physical disability now. Yeah. And then be able to use him to like still like do parts in movies or like whatever i mean and see and that's a thing because like even bruce willis has given his likeness away okay so you make a valid point remember he sold his license because he was having uh issues with parkinson's or all yeah or some sort of something like mental he, yeah not physical mental disability where he can't remember lines he forget you know he's he's just he's old you know he's 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 old um so it's uh yeah i can't think of any other value for this um, I mean, like Michael J. Fox could use it because he did that too. Um, yeah, yeah I like, mean it. So, but that is so outside of that, which is essentially just, I mean, lying to the audience. It's very niche, and literally, do you need to like keep Michael Jackson in movies forever? Like, people have yeah. careers, and that's the point. Like, yeah. you start out, you're young, you do young kid roles, you get old, you play old man roles. Like Robert yeah. De Niro used to play like the tough mob guy. Now he's like the old man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like you you get you run your career, you see the gambit and you're done. Who wants to like okay. put his young Robert De Niro back in a movie in 2024? I mean, honestly, if you could do it easily and seamlessly, I could see every movie producer in the world being like, "Yes, we need that technology immediately." So, with the fact that you that we even I didn't hit this thread because everybody always goes to like the negative, but yeah, to Hollywood, this is a great tool. We don't have to necessarily worry about cgi anymore if we have ai ai is going to replace cgi they're already doing it in their movie posters they're already doing it in music did you hear about the uh the country singer randy travis he I actually did not. he uh he was suffering from a debilitating illness as well one that lost his voice he is actually re-releasing an album 
using utilizing AI and he's worked on it with like a producer and they've actually like, you know, done inflections and stuff and he's going to be re-releasing music. Now, I, to the point where like when you do it as Drake and you put out an AI song using Tupac and Snoop Dogg's voice or these people who are releasing like AI tracks all over the internet because you can find an AI track or like the AI stand up, that shit's kind of messy. But if a musician loses his voice and wants to use the AI to release music in his voice. Well, how do you feel about that? Is that okay? Uh, Is that okay? Because he's still a musician. I mean, if it, it's like, yeah, I mean, it'd be, I, I get it. Because, like, if I couldn't talk tomorrow, but AI would allow me to, like, type out what I want to say in the podcast, I, I would I would do it. I'm doing the Leonardo DiCaprio point right now. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it. That's what I'm saying. And I'm not famous, so you so, know what I mean? It's so the point where AI can become a tool for good and a tool for evil, I feel like is very similar to but a fire. I, it's I a don't fire think the arm. benefits outweigh the, 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 the pros don't outweigh the cons. I mean, like I said, I would say that AI right now is a firearm. And what we need is the same thing that we have for firearms and that's regulation. And there is very, there's very little regulation for it right now because they don't, these old ass motherfuckers in Capitol Hill don't know how to regulate it. They don't know what's needed. It's the same thing like with crypto. They don't understand it. So they can't. And crypto has been around for 30 years. They still don't know what to do with it. 15. But okay, yeah. whatever. Fine. But yeah. <laughs> still. Right. Well, right. It's like you, and that's kind of the point of like why having like old wrinkly white dudes who are in their eighties trying to run the country in the world, they don't even grasp the technology that's coming out. And then yeah. by the time somebody does, it's too late Yeah. because people have already done the bad. And then they're like, oh, we need to prevent that bad from happening again. Because And people are like, we've been trying to tell you this for a decade that you need to do this. <laughs> are you proposing that once you reach the age of 45, you should be omitted from holding 45? office? That's a little young. You little think old. that's young? A little old. A little old? 45 no, is old. No, a little old. young. Oh, yeah, no, I think like young. I think retirement age should be retirement age for everybody. I almost feel like 60 is too like, old, like, man. If you're 60-year-old, you don't know how to use a computer anymore. You do. You know how to use a computer when you were from when you were thirty. You don't know how to use a computer in the current year. Well, I mean, at sixty years but old, I mean, even you don't. Like when I think about like myself, like trying to like like people will be like, I had uh, I had somebody like in a group, like we were talking about something, and they're like, oh, I'll just go have I'll just go have OpenAI create a Excel for us to do that. Yeah, and I was like, oh, I mean, I would just go do that myself. You know what I mean? Because I know how to do it, right? Mm -hmm. Like. So and that, that's kind of what I mean. It, like, yeah, it's like I the technology's there, but I'm like, I know how to do it the old way. Yeah. Um. So I don't know, but it's also funny. I saw an article that it was like, um, it was like twelve of the top twenty apps in I think it was Google Play or the Apple Store or something under education were all AI apps that did your homework for you, like take a picture of a math problem, it solves yep. it for you, like yep, all that yep, stuff. Yep, yep, and it yep. was like our country is in a crisis because like yes. kids aren't even doing homework they're just using computers to do their homework for them and they're not learning anything, anything. and they all just want to be like tiktok influencers like they're all just like i'm not i'm just going to be on tiktok so i don't need to know how to do math <sighs> and you wonder why the country wants to get rid of tiktok I heard that a big reason. Oh my god, dude, we I could we could go all day. We could just go forever. I heard a big reason that they don't want to that they don't want to do TikTok. And there's been government officials caught on tape actually saying the quiet part out loud here. Right, right. Is that I actually I just forgot what it was. What? There was pro Palestinian stuff on it. That's what it was. <laughs> Oh, because it was... There's uh, a lot of pro-Palestinian well, stuff on it. There's a lot of pro-everything on it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. It, it's, it's a platform like Reddit, but yeah. all video. And it's so all like if you're looking for pro-Palestine or pro-Israel or how to how to stretch properly or how to build but a... a lot of a, it's bull crap. <laughs> right, well, right. I mean, people ain't experts out here doing expert stuff. Like, I, I only trust YouTube to a certain extent. Now, YouTube has been around for a long enough time where, like, the kind of the shit settles to the bottom. So, like, the good stuff rises to the top. 
So if I see a video that's going to be helpful for cleaning my PC or for like changing the car fob to my Nissan Altima or like, you know, right, easy right, stuff. Right, 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 right. It's yeah. like, I'm going to trust that video with 10 million views. Right, right. Yeah. How to change the air filter in my car. Oh, like, you know, TikTok yeah. is a little different because 10 million views is, you know, Nothing. I don't want to say easy, but a lot of people have done that. Right. And it could just be some BS. Yeah. You know. Well, like you know, we, I, I mean, I played the example of like that girl I knew from from a long time ago. Uh, she was like, "Yeah, like I had one video on TikTok go viral, and then I was making a ton of money on my OnlyFans because people just like drove because one video hit. Yeah, you know what I mean? I was I had enough exposure, and it was that's like all a, it takes. you know, and like right, like it's like <laughs> if we put a video on TikTok, it could hit ten million views, and it would like all of a sudden, a bunch of people would be driven to our channel, but they're gone." They're gone. Come January of 2025, they have to leave. There's no chance. Unless they divest it or they pay $3,000 per user. <laughs> you ain't doing that. No, <laughs> but also they're suing the U.S. government because it should be illegal. I agree. Like, why? We're going to start telling people it is like the Patriot Act on steroids. Bro. You're going to start telling people they can't use apps? Bro, I'm gonna that is you, not America. I'm going to tell you right now is that only fans and TikTok are going to be the death of this fucking country. So, I look, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. If you give people all the freedom in the world, they'll just freaking kill themselves. Oh, absolutely. I was talking this yesterday to somebody about how if like, you know, AI starts taking jobs and like, you know, like what 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 do we do for jobs? I'm like, well, they're going to have to start looking at universal basic and income. But I think that's the worst thing for the world because if you get get everyone in the country a bunch of money and nothing to do, they're just going to get into trouble. That's true. But if you get, like if you give them all the freedom, they're going to kill themselves. And I don't want to say I'm an advocate for taking away these freedoms from anybody, but like there's restrictions on everything in this country for a reason. Laws are put in place for a reason. And some of these apps, man, they are really psyops. They are psyops. These are oh, psyops. I do think a giant social media app from China is probably not the best thing. Wars are not fought on the ground with guns. I they mean, are fought through yeah. the internet. And they're fought through in like implementing things like this to just make the the entire society of a certain area just fall into a, a shambles. Like after after World War II, how half of the country could fall and become heroin addicts. The same thing can happen here if we are mind rotted through AI doing our homework, through OnlyFans being a, a 15 year old's dream when she turns 18. I can't wait till I turn 18 so I can get an OnlyFans to uh, little boys who grow up being tick, trying to be TikTok influencers and doing Twitch and thinking that's the way. That's not. They're just going around like punching people in the face because they think like that's funny and that's what TikTok is and like. Yeah, and I feel like I'm just like yelling at the moon. I'm yelling at technology, yell like old, stop being technical. Old man yells at clouds. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, I look. I'm on. I'm on both sides of it because I feel like you do what you want. I feel like technology is a wonderful thing and we need to embrace it. But I feel like there needs to be regulation on a lot of it. I mean, you got to be 18 to get an OnlyFans, huh? I mean, I, w I would assume. <laughs> yeah, maybe you should be. Maybe even 21 in some areas. I don't know. Maybe yeah. you should be 18 and get a TikTok. I mean, the, I mean, well, because I mean, they have most of those things say that you have to be like 13 or whatever. Got to be 15 to, to stream on Twitch, I believe. 15 or 13. Yeah, 15, but people do it anyway. Yeah. If they find out, though, whatever. But got to be 12 to have a, a account on X. I called it by its name. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's the freedom app. So, I mean, should, yeah, should tick, does TikTok have, I mean, does TikTok have an age restriction? Six. Is that what it is for know. real? You don't know. Okay, I don't know. Anywho, don't but no, nah, man, it's a wild world. So that's all the time we have today's episode. Please make sure to like, subscribe, or join us. TNT. Oh, yeah.